I'm back with all started. John JJ. You think this road all the way down? This is my building. This is where I used to work. Right there. Today I'll make sure I will not forget to show you guys how the train, how to take the train and how to take the high speed train in China. So I'm heading to Starbucks to go see an old friend. So me and Sharon gonna go eat. All right, should be exciting. So my friend is late. I just want water. I don't want to come. Okay. I never asked if you want a coffee. Yes, uh, Did I? Forty-one RMB in Canadian would be. I don't know. We'll do the calculation after. I'm gonna show you guys how to take the train. We we'll take a DD to the train station. That's why. That's why it's good that so you can hear the loud noises. So I was supposed to meet my friend, but we only met her for three minutes because she was late. Didn't tell me the reason why. It's very normal for honking in China to happen on a consistent basis. It's not good. It's rest days. Yep. My boys know. So as you walk, you see all these people waiting in line? There's an entrance there. And uh, once your train station logo turns green, I mean, once your train number turns green, then you're able to check in through these doors. All right, now you gotta walk through this hallway. You see the hallway? walk through this hallway, get to the station. And I'm gonna show you guys what the train looks like. Is it rolling? I'm better looking with the mask on. Nope. Yeah. One. One, four. All right, so this is the seat. 4F, 4D. To see. Thank you for that, man. It's clean.
definitely need some air conditioning here. Hey. Yeah, it's really hot. I prefer first class. This is second. This is second class. I prefer first class. So we'll see. But there's enough space, enough leg room for me. A lot cheaper for Chinese to buy their tickets as compared to us, but trips.com helps you. It's, a, it's very well detailed, so I prefer to use that. I bought my ticket for second class, 96 RMBs. So I'll put the uh, conversion below and Canadian and US dollars. And uh, that's one way. So 96 round trip, you can do the math by yourself. And it takes three hours for a high speed train. Slow speed train would take you six hours to get from this city back to Shangsha. From Zhangjiajie back to Shangsha. You can see we're going 155 kilometers. 155. It looks like 135 kilometers. Going to Ling, not the next station. Dao Yuan, Tai Yuan, Tai Yuan, station Tai Yuan. Oh, the family. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So you can see all these people. Sorry. So once you arrive, you gotta check out. So the officials will want to check your passport to ask you where you've been. So for foreigners, it's more complicated. Chinese people, they just get the ID card and then they go. So you get here, huh? Got all these people looking. You wait for the transport and get in there. Checking with security before you can get inside the city. I'm riding on the highway with an electric bike. And I'm trying out this 4K update from iOS 14 to see if it's gonna make my videos better, my vlogs better. Let me know what you think, if this different in quality or not. Holla. So, yeah, those Chinese. Chinese National Day.